Hi guys! <laughs> As it's suitable for every skin type and every age group. La, 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 la. One more time. And it's my pleasure to welcome you. Welcome you to our. <laughs> Hi guys! My name is Polina Olsinkowska, and it's my pleasure to welcome you to another video about ombre brows. The ombre technique is one of the most sought after techniques currently on the market, as it's suitable for every skin type and every age group, and as all permanent makeup should, provides a natural effect to enhance natural beauty. Some people might be hesitant about any form of permanent makeup because of their association with the tattooed eyebrows of decades past. With the ombre technique, however, I will show you how to enhance the beauty of your client while also getting the eyebrows on fleek. First step is a drawing the right and only shape of the brows. However, before we start, make sure you twist and shape your client's brows. Find the middle of your client's face, stick the ruler and make sure it's on the right place. Now with the ruler, mark the bulb at 1 cm, the arch at 4.5 cm and the tail at 7 cm. Mark the bottom part of the brow, make sure you don't bring it down. Let's remove the sticker. Enhance the bottom part of the brow. Keep in mind that the brow is nothing else than four lines with only rounded points on the arch and bottom of the arch. It's time to mark the line that will show you the right direction of brow tail. Put the pencil on the temple. Pencil has to be placed flat. Slowly drag it on the temple. Fill in the brow. Bottom line should be straight and parallel with the top line. Now, match the beginning and your first brow is done. Start the second brow exactly the same way. Don't forget you have to compare both brows all the time. Don't be afraid to ask your client to sit up as many times as you need. I prefer to draw in lines down position, as in my opinion only in this position my line can be clean, straight and precise. But I always check my pre-drawing when client sits up. A common mistake I've noticed uh, most of the artists uh, making when sketching brows are that they tend to make the bottom of the brows rounded and not straight. Uh, the bottom and top lines must be both. Be straight and parallel, with a straight angle forming the tail. Put simply, the only rounded areas should be what connects your straight lines from the arch and bottom of arch. Now concealer. Let's outline the brow. You can see on the video that I stand behind the model. From this perspective you can see your pre-drawing differently. Check the length of the brows, arches and beginnings. By pulling eyebrows to the forehead, check if the lower eyebrow lines are equal. To outline the top part of the brows, change your position and go to another side of the bed. You will find it easier and your movement will be much precise.
When brows are finally on point, don't forget to apply translucent powder to seal in your pre-drawing. Translucent powder will prevent smudging and smearing. Time to start the procedure. I will use Popstar pigment from Quantum Collection. I don't pre-numb the brows. Today I will show you a completely new technique. And uh, to start, we have to mark the frame of the brows, contour. But please be aware while doing it. Contour should be visible only to you and should not be visible when eyebrows are healed. Be careful while using tattoo pigments, for example permablend. If you are heavy-handed, you might go too deep and line might be too harsh. If you are a newbie, please check my other videos for different segments of technique. If you are already one of my subscribers, you should know that I like to check my progress step by step. We will do it while creating the contour. At the moment, you can see a real-time procedure. I don't rush, my movement is constant and each segment is short. Look at my hand position and the way I hold handpiece. Don't forget to stretch the skin. Top line should be lighter than the bottom line. Be careful at the beginning of the brow too, it should be transparent. Move to another side of the bed and mark half of the brows including a tail. To finish to outline the brow, move to your first position. Scratch the skin and apply anesthetic suitable for an open skin. Leave it for about one minute and then wipe it off. Always begin at the tail of the brow, working segmentally and constantly from outside to outside, bottom to top, top to bottom. You can move to another segment when contour becomes not visible and it blends with a segment. As you can see, we aren't creating lines or hairs with our movement. You should only see tiny dots. These dots are what give the ombre technique such a natural appearance. When moving on to your next segment, keep the same speed, movement, grip, focus and precision. Wipe the pigment towards you and make sure each segment matches the one before it.
Let's focus on the backbone of the ombre, the pendulum technique. Once you master this basic technique, you will also open up a window of opportunity to easily pick up permanent eyeliner and lip application, which you can find out more about in my other videos and soon in my full online courses. They are requested by so many of you and just to let you know, we are working on it. Um, you will feel like you are taking a life course. I'm super excited and cannot wait to offer it to you. But uh, let's get back to the video. You want to make sure you are not developing bad habits from the get-go as they are much harder to correct the longer you've had them and later on down the road. So let's start with uh, nailing the basic technique you will be using for your treatments because uh, this will be with a strong foundation for your future career and of course your clients will be able to see the difference. Just as its name suggests, you are going to be mimicking the movement of pendulum keeping a steady and fluid pace the entire time, making short, effortless, flick-like strokes in segments. Hold your handpiece at 90 degrees to pigmented area and let your middle and your pointing finger control your movements, not your thumb. Common mistakes my students make, although they seem small, make a big impact on the final result. The thumb should be relaxed while the middle and pointing finger takes the lead. Failure to this would lead to visible separate segments on the brow and some parts of the segments would be darker than the rest, leaving you with uneven coloring. As you can see, I don't rush, I work slowly, I check my progress after each segment. We have to build density of the brow. We have to build density of the brow and from ombre definition you should know that the darkest part of the brow are the tail, middle part of the brow and bottom part of the brow. You also need to make sure you allow your needle a few seconds to absorb the pigment each time your cartridge runs out. But don't let it touch the bottom of the pigment cap or else it will bend. Once the excess pigment is cleared away, assess your segment for any spot you've missed, need to fill in or correct and always make sure that you are satisfied with it before moving on to the next one. Keeping in mind that this is the first of four passes we will make, so it doesn't need to be dark. If you notice any lines or darker spots, check your hand position and angle, as these are the common mistakes. When you get closer to the bulb, remember that your pressure should be lighter, as the beginning should appear soft and transparent after the procedure.
one of the best tips I can give you is to take your time on every segment and do not rush. I recommend checking and double checking each and every one by continuously wiping away the pigment towards you. Working chaotically will only lead to chaos, uh, so please relax and take your time. Your work will show it and your client will thank you. Believe me, she will thank you. You also have to wipe the bulb more often to assure that it's not too dark in order to achieve this transparent, translucent and light effect of the ombre brows. To summarize, first we do the contour and then we work segmentally, bottom to top, top to bottom with pendulum movement. We do four passes and we build the density starting from the tail and moving towards the bulb of the brow. Remember that the bulb has to be transparent.
Thank you guys so much for your attention, for trusting me and of course for your continued support. It's always a pleasure for me to pass along my passion. If you have any questions following this video or just want to give me your feedback, please feel free to leave the comment below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give a thumbs up, share it on your social media accounts, of course subscribe to my channel and if you would like to get notification every time I upload, hit the notification bell. I will see you on the next one. Bye! Thank you.